information on the man accused of shooting a child on a school playground. Sources identify the suspect as 18-year-old Sylvester Lewis. Police say naming him will not jeopardize their investigation. Charles Benson is live at Milwaukee's police headquarters. Charles. And police continue the investigation. Tonight they were conducting lineups with the suspect. That included eyewitnesses who were at 28th and Clark the night Sierra Guyton was shot in the head. She's pretty good. She's, you know, she's holding on. She's fighting. Sierra Guyton's father continues to worry about his daughter, but he also wonders why the 18-year-old suspect was out on the street. Police tell us the teen had been arrested 15 times since he was 12, including once as an adult. Somebody should have been, you know, put him under his wing, under their wing, and. Showing the right way. That's, that's a long time for somebody just 18 years old. He's not alone. Mayor Barrett also wants to know. If this started at 12 and we this is where we ended up, something went wrong somewhere. Barrett also continues his campaign against illegal guns. And in this political year, he's taking issue with Republicans. I would like to see the legislature and the governor as interested in suppressing gun violence in the city of Milwaukee as they have been in suppressing voting in the city of Milwaukee. The shooting of Sierra at a school playground has outraged the community and the police chief. But Flynn says the anger shouldn't be focused on just one tragic case. African Americans make up between 80 and 85 percent of our homicide victims every damn year. That's a disparity. And we have a system that is unable to keep up with the carnage. Now, Republicans and the governor point out they are helping Milwaukee fight crime. The state recently gave the city $175,000 for shot spotter technology, which helped police in the playground shooting. We're live in downtown Milwaukee. Charles Benson, today's TMJ4. Charles, thank you very much.